your happy bee and welcome to the first ever episode of cooking with leftovers it's exactly what it sounds I'm gonna cook with leftovers to make it a whole new dish so this morning I had spam and veggies for breakfast and for lunch guess what there's some leftovers so I want to put it all together and make a new dish. First things first, aside from our leftovers, one key ingredient is our leeks. Are these leeks? I think they are. <laughs> and we're gonna chop them up into little cylindrical things. I also like to use the white part of the leek, but in general, this to me is a key ingredient because it's really gonna add a lot of flavor your kimchi fried rice. Kailangan po natin gamitan lahat ng leek because we are in tough times people. Cannot not use this white part. Okay, next up it's the leftovers. As I mentioned, I have veggies. These are zucchinis, onions, and some garlic. This is super jackpot because this means you don't have to chop any additional vegetables, so that's super nice. And then, spam. The beautiful, beautiful spam. But of course, the beauty of this kind of cooking is you can utilize whatever you have. I have spam, so we're gonna use spam. But you can also use tuna, corned beef, chicken even, whatever you like. These are the yummy veggies. I'm just gonna roughly chop it because <laughs> we want to do this quickly. We want to eat our crunchy fried rice immediately. So excited. So if you don't have veggies left over, Go ahead and just chop some new ones up for this dish. This is a super nice way to sneak in them veggies. Okay, so rough chop done. I'm not gonna judge. You can chop it whatever you like. Ay, nahulog po. Now that we chopped up all our ingredients, of course we have to add kimchi. This one we just bought from the grocery. And I'm not gonna really chop this because I feel like we don't need to. But if you do buy one of those big ones that are unchopped, do chop it because it's just one whole piece of cabbage. It's cabbage, right, Max? Nice. I did it cabbage. also. <laughs> no. I think it's snap like cabbage or something like that. So now that we prepared everything, let's get cooking. About to cook. I'm so excited. Okay, so first, <laughs> guys, we're trying to like excite. First thing we're gonna put is our sesame oil, and this is so good. And we're gonna cook it, guys. I don't know yet. I have to go to the grocery again. Anyway, just put it in the pan. Para mukhang professional, you make swirls like this, okay? I'm gonna put in this cayenne pepper. If you don't have cayenne pepper, go ahead. Get your... What do you got? Siligang... 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 Siling pang sigang. And this is like, oh my god, so good. Chop it up, put it in your pan. But when I'm looking at this, dynamite lovers know. This is for dynamite. This is... This is top quality seal it for dynamite. Our cayenne pepper and then put it here. Just mix it up a little bit. Can we once again remind everybody that I'm not a professional chef and if I'm doing this wrong, sorry. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna poison my family, so it's fine. Next ingredient, we're gonna start sauteing everything. This is my favorite thing. I think you must have up some marugami udon. This is the only thing I like in marugami udon. The fact that you can get just cuts of this for free and it's really gonna flavor the dish. Now we start to stir fry. Oh! Spicy! Next, we're gonna put in our vegetables in there. Ooh, it is so spicy. It's getting in my nose. Now, our secret ingredient. Bam. So good. And of course, 
energy fried rice is not complete without your kimchi. So we're going to dump this entire thing in and also stir fry our kimchi. Bam! Soy sauce. Ooh, oh my god, overflowing cup. <laughs> Not a professional reminding everyone. Almost enough. Left. And then because life needs to be sweet, I'm adding some sugar. I don't know if this is the real recipe for kimchi fried rice. I'm just guessing guys. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Rice! So put your delicious, amazing, beautiful white rice or brown rice. I don't know. If you're that kind of person, just put your rice in the pan, smash it. No mercy. For our final step, optional step, but really good step, is we're gonna add cheese into our kimchi fried rice. So this is inspired by Kang's Kitchen. It's a reality show that Max and I really watch and they do a really delicious looking cheesy kimchi fried rice. So we're gonna make a super easy version of it today by just adding our cheese onto the kimchi fried rice and popping it into the oven. Ha! Pero hindi na mo init. <laughs>